a lot of people have the biggest ideas and they, they don't even realize that, that they're sitting on millions. There are some, some, if you're just gonna do what everybody's doing, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna make a lot of money as an engineer, right? And the most of the money as an engineer doesn't lie in, it depends if you work for, for a fan company or something, but most of the time, if you really wanna be rich as an engineer, as an engineer, as a programmer, you need to build your startup, right? And I recommend everybody uh, trying to do that, right? Trying to at least a side hustle. Because a lot of people, they on, on, on Discord, they say, yeah, but how do you keep motivation for my side projects? Because I start so many side projects. Yeah, of course, I, I, everybody starts so many side projects, right? We all know how it goes, right? You have a good idea. You're full of dopamine, adrenaline. You wake up early in the morning because you're so hyped to work on your new project. The first thing you do is you order a new domain name yourproject.com because hey that needs to be secured you know what i mean that's very important because can you imagine my project that doesn't even exist yet will be successful i need to have myproject.com all right that's what's happening and then before we even start to make our program we're going to check where we're going to host it right we're going to set up a new ubuntu server probably on DigitalOcean, or maybe we're going to use aws aws or maybe we're going to use something uh, firebase a new fire whatever database you know what i mean we're going to use all these fancy stuff maybe it's going to use amd lambda and of course kubernetes we're going to use kubernetes of course why didn't i think about that so you docker kubernetes everything on, on AWS, you know what I mean? It's all been taken care of. And you lose interest in your project and you're gonna start the next one. So you're, in, you're there with a domain name you never use. You're probably gonna get some extra papers in your mailbox because you forgot to pay it. And it's gonna turn up in a big technical financial mess. First thing I do is delete the test directory. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I said, you just need to... Uh, it, start your side project but also make it a startup you know what i mean let it make a revenue let it let it generate money you know what i mean let it generate money very important because that's a motivational trigger people using your project is the biggest motivation right and don't be worried about the speed of your program don't be worried about where you're going to host it you're just going to host it you're going to cp you're going to scp it over to a fucking digital ocean bare metal server up on Hetzner or something or on or just a virtual uh, server on digital ocean you're going to scp it over no docker no shit no deployment just scp the binary over you know what i mean that's the folder over and do yarn start that's what you need to do right and make some money yes how much man do i need zero because there's calculus there's a calculator you know what i mean two plus two is four and four plus four is eight and that's the only thing you need to know how do you get your first commoner for a side hustle you need to don't be afraid right a lot of people are afraid a lot of people have the biggest ideas and they, they, they don't even realize that, that they're sitting on millions. Because the reason why you don't make money with your side project is because you don't release it and you don't market it. Because people buy everything, guys. There's something I learned in my fucking life. People buy everything. There's always somebody. Listen, take a piece of paper right now. There is always somebody that is going to pay you money for something. Always. 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 No matter what it is. No matter what it is. You can make a new editor. People are going to pay you money for that. You're going to find some customers. You can make a, a, a to-do list app one of the millions that there already are but people going to pay money for that because by the end of the day somebody that wants for example how does it work james has a lot of tasks because james is james and most of the time he sits at the water cooler that's why they also call him james at the water cooler and james wants to be a more organized person right so james goes to google or James goes to Twitter, or James is basically whatever he's doing on his iPad playing this fucking Shadow, Shadow Raid Legends thingy, and suddenly he sees Todoist app, 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 app. Get your free trial right now.
and get more organized, you lazy bitch. And James is going to click on your ad, or James is going to click on your Reddit post, or James is going to click on your Twitter post, or James is whatever the fuck he's going to do, but he's going to click on that, and he's going to start his free trial, and you're going to convert him because his life is so good, so organized, that he's going to pay 19, that's too much, 9.99 a month to you for a to-do app because you were the first one where he clicked on. Maybe there is a better to-do app. We don't fucking care. You know what I mean? That's the biggest problem. Oh no, I'm not going to launch my project because there are already 10, 20 million people doing it. Yeah, that's true. But they are not you. You are better. You know what I mean? Nobody can compete with me. You know what? That's how you need to think. Nobody's going to compete with you. If I make a to-do app, it's going to be the best to-do app ever. That's what I'm not going to do it. I give people a chance. Don't be afraid to go out there, you know, everybody's buying everything. 